started out dating or you've been in a longer term relationship, sometimes finding things to do can be such an issue. I met these guys in our studio not that long ago. They introduced this service where they actually set up dates for you and ideas, and it's the coolest, coolest thing. So we decided to uh, kind of put you to the test. Yeah, give it a shot and uh, plan a little date for us. Of course, we are with Thomas and Parker of Let's Go Raleigh. Carly, I guess we're dating today. <laughs> we're on a date today, and we are so excited. Um, but we had to get out the big guns, a.k.a. Thomas and Barker, to help us come up with a plan. So thanks for having us out today. Thanks for coming up with this for us. Um, it's curated for Amber and I, which is super, super cool. Um, but for those who didn't catch that first interview with Amber and y'all, tell us a little bit about Let's Go Raleigh and the entire concept. Totally. So at Let's Go Raleigh, essentially we help couples make a habit out of date night, right? And we, we do that by making it easy. So uh, everything from Amber, like you mentioned, the ideas and, and really having something that's curated, personalized for you and your partner, but then actually helping to make it happen. So now, you know, we, we actually offer um, this kind of text assistant that helps set up res uh, reservations for you and really helps you to make it happen because that accountability piece is, is the key to, to making it actually happen. This thing is so cool because I think a lot of times people talk about being on the apps and swiping and dating. Uh -huh. That's not the case. You're not actually this setting people together, app. right? Yeah. <laughs> no, we are not. This is specifically focused on people who are in long-term relationships already. Maybe you've been married for five or ten years. Maybe it's just been a little while, but you're ready to put a spark back into it and regularly, regularly have a date night. So do you have a certain questionnaire beforehand to get the idea of what these couples want to do or is it all just random? No, exactly. So when you go onto our website, you you know simply put in your phone number, and how it works is it's all over text. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through and fill out a quick questionnaire. It's okay. ten questions about your uh, personality, the types of things you like to do, types of foods you like okay. to eat. And when you go through that questionnaire, we're essentially filtering. Okay, here's you know we're getting to learn your personality, and then we on a biweekly basis text you those customized dates based on the things that you've said. Everything from location to the types of food, you know, very. Uh, uh, intentional around the allergies the, and aller stuff. Yeah, okay. the, the dietary restrictions that you might have and everything in there, um, and then just really setting it up to where you can trust that we're your you know date night assistant. Yeah. Right. How do you pick these places? Yeah, we, we pick them by just really carefully going out and looking at what's online, looking at what people really like, and then loading it in with a lot of different filters, a lot of different tags, so that we can make sure every single time we create a date for somebody that it's perfectly tailored to their interest. Well, is there anything new that's been going on since the last time y'all spoke with Amber in studio? Absolutely, yeah. We're really excited. We've officially rolled out our ability to make reservations for people who sign up, awesome. which makes it one step easier, yeah. right? If you just have to text back, yes, Monday at 6 p.m., and then we make the reservation for you, we put it on the calendar for you, we buy tickets if we need to, anything we need to make the experience happen. Yeah. And then now you're also in a second city, Charlotte. Yeah, so we're launching in Charlotte right now as well, and so that's kind of, we're, we're early on in that, but it is, it's official and, and it's moving things out. Yeah, it is. Amazing. It's exciting. So what are we going to do today? So today we've got a really fun date set up for both of you. It's going to be starting here at 321 Coffee, which is a phenomenal coffee shop that actually employs people with disabilities. Yeah. So you get to check that out, hang out, have your lattes for a while, and then walk only two or three minutes over to Y Hill Brewing, which is one of the best breweries here in Raleigh, and they have a wonderful view of the Raleigh skyline to enjoy as well. experience. I know, especially being kind of new to town, yeah. I don't really know always where to go. Right. And, and to have it all laid out. Have it all laid out, planned out, mapped out for you. The conversation starter's a hit. Yeah. You know, and sometimes you don't know what to talk about. Well, especially if you've been in a relationship for a while, yeah. it's really cool to ask questions that yeah. kind of get that conversation going yeah. in ways you may Keeping not expect. that spark alive. Um, but people can do this themselves. And all you have to do is go to letsgoraleigh.com to plan an awesome date for yourself and your loved one. Super, super easy. We are fans, for sure. <laughs> what a way to end our date with yeah. a beautiful view of the city. Let's go Raleigh. Got it. The preceding was sponsored by...